Josh and I were born in the 90s. Allegedly. The 90s were arguably the best decade for technological advancement. We had the best toys. It's true. The best... Well, I, I can't really remember much of the 90s, but... The toys that we had as kids were way better than any toys that are out today. They were the best. You'd never seen no little three-year-old f***ing at the pub with his parents playing on iPad like you do now. You'd never seen it. We were playing with Action Men. Game Boy got released. Game Men. Heaps of cool s***. And now, today, we are going to go back in time and find out, answer the question. Were the 90s toys that we grew up with really as good as what we remember? I got my assistant, Jess, to take my credit card and buy all of the 90s toys that she could find on the internet. Now, some of these are actually still in their original packaging. So expensive stuff. Very expensive. Right. We have found a lot of original stuff, but we've also had to buy brand new versions of toys that we had as kids. Right. Does that make sense? I think so. First box. Ah, oh, boxes. They had those in the 90s. That's right. I never had these as a kid because my parents were poor. Mm. Have you ever heard of moon shoes? No. Basically, these are so. These are. Not, is this from the nineties? This is not nineties packaging, right? Okay. Jess. They still make these, but these came out in the nineties. So this is not original nineties packaging, but this is a toy from the nineties. Maximum men's shoe size. 8.5. We're going to have to try and fit into them. <laughs> We're going to have to put our girlfriends in there. I haven't seen this until today. I didn't read the box when I bought it. All Just right. open them. I'm still down to try them. Yeah. I Moon shoes. A toy from the 90s. I still remember the ad. They advertise these as like you could jump really high because they're basically just mini trampolines that strap to your feet. And as a six year old kid, I was like, holy f I can fly. They're literally like little personal trampolines. Yeah. I've never even seen these before. Okay, if we go barefoot. Wait, how the f am I supposed to build this shit? Why do they give you so many rubber bands? It says it on here. Ooh, they're so oily. Load rubber bands. Very cool. Very cool start. Wait, do you go all the way through or do you fold it around like this? Oh no, you're right. It does go all the way through. How are you supposed to fit three rubber bands in one crack? I didn't know it was set up. I thought we'd just be floating. I thought they came already made. I, Dude, they advertise a trampoline shoe. I thought it was going to have springs in it. Like a trampoline. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jesus. Look! You see how that... Yo, I you have supposed to have three in. Yeah, I'm I'm cooking. Just let me cook. But I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, this is it's gonna be cool. Oh, we'll be fine, bro. These are built for fat people. God, imagine, imagine it being Christmas, un opening these, and then your kid hands you fifty rubber bands. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Dude, my dad would have raged and just probably threw it in the f***ing bin. Eh? Mm. I'm making progress, bro. Oh my Look god, there's doing. so many. This sucks. The nineties sucked. Yeah, what the. F can you buy these pre-done next time? No, you cannot buy these pre-done, Alana. Got the amount of tension. Mine's this. done. Is it really? I yeah. Three in at once. Oh, dude, there's no way these are breaking. Look at that, how crazy these look. These are insane. God, the, the, the rubber bands are uncomfortably greasy. God, this feels like when I haven't washed my hair for four days and I go to, like, touch it. My hands feel like after That's f gross. That's but if one of these snaps, you're gonna you're gonna get launched. You can't feel it, hey. You reckon? Oh f Jesus. What did I just <laughs> Look, how did you launch that one? Oh, this seems dangerous as f I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? It doesn't seem <laughs> What are you doing over there? <laughs> to build me moon shoes. Are you putting them on now? Yeah. Oh my god, this is bad. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it actually? It's not bad. <laughs> You're going barefoot, you grubby. <laughs> they won't fit with shoes. Oh shit! Look how big that they. These will not fit with shoes, dude. <laughs> My mitts are almost grabbing the whole thing. Holy! F they look ridiculous. Hang on, <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at this. It barely goes over the thing, dude. Oh. I can just wrap wrap over around it. <laughs> okay. Do they? Yeah. They look dodgy. They don't look good. Boing. Boing. 
That's one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> moon boots, have the boots you can moon. It's like walking in sand. Don't touch my moon boots. That, that one's mine. I built that one. It's both the same. No, mine is more rubber bands. I'm nervous about trying these. You should be. They are pretty solid though. Editor, insert the clip of us trying them right now. If this snaps, say goodbye to your ankle. Bro, my foot doesn't even fit. It's too big. That's what I'm saying. Look at my foot overhanging. Oh, f now. I feel like I'm on the moon. <laughs> I'm scared. You got the balance of a baby giraffe, dude. <laughs> no, it's a, this one is looser than this one. <laughs> I yeah. can't. I can't do it. You've never worn a moon shoe before? What's wrong with you? <laughs> This is how Australians get around. Thank you, Josh. These, I can't. Come on, take one little hop. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you were born yesterday. I'm like one of those deers, bro. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, these are <laughs> gay. Keep going. How high can you jump? It's like with my foot touching the ground between each jump. You just look ridiculous. I don't know Walk you... down the runway. Go work it, girl. You got your f***ing moon boots on. <laughs> okay, turn around and do it. Oh, shit! Oh! Work it, Josh. Here we have Josh Dub. Trialing out the new moon boots. Look at him. Oh, shit, baby. Oh! Damn. Something hurt my feet. Thank you, Future Molly, for that clip. Hopefully, we didn't break our ankles in it yet. Next item, what do we have next? Here you go, mate, just for you. Oh, oh I... Lana used to have these as a kid. Exactly, see? We're Lana. bringing home the 90s. Lana had these as a kid, and these were fun. In the 90s, it wasn't gay to play with girls' toys. Well, it was gay, I just didn't tell anyone about it. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I didn't tell no one at school I was playing so, with girls' toys. These are like, there's that, there's that, um, viral video of that girl who plays with one and goes straight into the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she rips it and flies into the fire. Yeah. And then it'll fly up in just a second. See? And then. No! Can't wait to see you fly this one uh, into the neighbor's yard. You open stuff like it's a competition. Oh, I'm just excited. I, do, I can just I can see you oh, as a yeah. little kid. This brings back memories, eh? Yeah. Whoa! Damn, they fly high! Yeah, they got that like satisfying- I hit your chandelier! <laughs> they got that satisfying like- <laughs> Rip it, rip it as hard as you can, ready? Alright, three, two, one. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, a piece of your chandelier just flew off. A piece of chandelier just broke off. Alright, weapon test. What? Whoa! Alright, hold still. Oh god. You can't do it, it has to be straight. Yeah, it gets stuck. <laughs> what are you jumping like that for? You jump like it's a knife or something, man. You're like... <laughs> I'm scared, bro. Ah, f**k. You hit me right the bone. Here, my turn. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, f**k. It, it's a lot. <laughs> okay, that's enough of the flying toys. <laughs> These are f**king cool, man. How high do you think... <laughs> Holy shit. I missed. <laughs> I think I broke mine. Are you okay? Josh broke his. Okay, these are actually low key like shit though. They're not really built for 30 year old men. They were cool them. inside when you could hit stuff with them. Mine's fucked. Yours is broken. I Beyblade it too. I'm gonna right. try and break mine. Ready? One two now. Is it? They should have built these to withstand two. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Holy shit! I knocked her head off. She's headless. Yours is broken. Just stop. Alright, next item. Oh, this one's gay. Did you ever see these? Yeah, I used to have one of these. Did you? Yeah. These were f killer, dude. The thing with this particular dog is, remember how it had the little bone it came with? This particular dog didn't come with the bone. So, Jess had to scour the internet to find a bone on its own. And we found one. Holy shit. Look. So his eyes, like, light up. Don't they turn into love hearts? Yeah. Yep. Did you see that? 
You're supposed to like give it the bone and it like loves you or some shit. I don't know. This is all it does, but I never had one of these as a kid, so I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. But it, but is there an instruction manual on how to use it? It came with nothing. It literally came in that box like that with bubble wrap around it. <laughs> You've silenced the beast. Oh, you can push on its head? Pat. Yeah, that's what's for padding, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what's crazy? It's like, this was the coolest shit back in the day, eh? Yeah, this was super futuristic, and these were popular. I remember them being everywhere. I love its love heart eyes. It's so cute. Is it, he's licking it. He's sniffing it. He's sniffing it. He licked it. He licked it, love heart The eye. bone works. So there's a whole thing with these where it's like, I remember this in Furbies as well. There was like, these have actual AI and... If you treat them this way over a certain amount of time, they're gonna act differently. Yeah. But it was all it was all bullshit. Yeah. It was all just It was all bullshit. Yes, you're bullshit. You're bullshit. Yeah. Look at its eyes. Didn't they also advertise it some bullshit that they could... You did something. I was singing a song. It's about to explode. <laughs> oh look at its eyes. Look at what its eyes is doing. Oh he's wigging out. Hang on, is he, is he dead already? Oh, here's the old ad for it. Play it. Hey! I'm Morph the Mutt! You what? New Poochie reacts to packs, sounds, and light. What's the matter, fella? He's just begging for his bone. They listen to him sing to each other. Interactive Poochie comes with his own bone. Each sold separately, batteries not included. Sit down! No. Sit. Body! Stop it. What's wrong with you? He won't sit. Sit! Sit down! <laughs> it's not a real dog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, what do you rate it? You like it? This is an epic toy. It brings you back to your childhood. Yeah, it actually does. Good boy. <laughs> okay. What is this? I got two of these. One for you, one for me. You remember the beanbag? Yes, I remember these things. Yep. This, this is weird because I never had any of these, but I knew people that did. How the f do you pump it up? God, it smells like Chinese rubber. It is Chinese rubber, brother. This is impossible, bro. You need to spend some time in the gym, brother. What do you mean? I'm not tired. You're struggling with something. I'm not. It's for ages six and up. The air keeps coming out. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you got the cool one. So basically, you sit on it and you, and you hop around. Editor, insert us bouncing. Why'd you buy the smallest one? I didn't. Jess did. <laughs> oh, these are hurting my balls. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> This is not designed for men with big balls. <laughs> oh! Holy oh, shit. Oh, just stand still. Oh no, why? Why me? <laughs> stand still. Yeah, yeah, go. Come on, bitch. Hit me. Oh! oh. Hit me right in the gooch. All right, thanks to that future Molly and Josh. Hopefully we didn't get a concussion. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yes. I never played this game. Neither did I. But I love seeing it go do its thing. This is a game from the 90s, which you can still get today, but it came out in the 90s. I've never played Mousetrap, but I have been in the room while it's being played. Mm. Basically, you get to the end of the board and you keep... Oh, I forgot how much bullshit was involved in You gotta pull these apart. Do you actually? Yeah. See, in the 90s, you have to build a lot of stuff yourself. Oh, look at this shit. Man, why does it actually smell like cheese, though? That's not part of the design. Smell it. Okay, it does smell a little bit like cheese, I guess. 
It does smell like cheese. Okay, it's just... All right, so what the f*** are we supposed to do here? Okay, so we're gonna put it all together. Object of the game, move around the game board. Oh, isn't that the object of like every game? All right, so base A, yellow. And this goes... <laughs> I think it was this bit. Hmm. This part. Hmm. Cheese. Yes. <laughs> Wait, is this upside down? Which way are we supposed? I think we gotta have it like this, right? All right. First one. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long day. Now we gotta put apparently the blue part in here. This thing. Yep. We put this in here like that. Mm -hmm. Then we put the red. Yep, that thing. And then we put the green part. This part here, like this. And then we put the yellow wheel, this part here, in here. Look at that, that is wild. It's all coming together. Then, holy f Yeah, it's a big thing, the whole thing goes together. Mouse crap, when are we playing mouse crap? Mouse crap. This is rough to watch, dude. <laughs> you with like your fine motor skills is like the most upsetting <laughs> thing. It's upside down. Look, look at the thing. You got it? Mm. Do you know what's happening right now? <laughs> Where does this part go? <laughs> look at the instructions, dude. I'm retarded. So, this apparently is mousetrap. How do we play? Yeah, so you're supposed to like go around the board and then, I don't know, get captured when a, a mouse lands here. So we've got the little mouse there. Yeah. Do you want me to do the thing or do you want to do it? Go for it. Okay, so you turn this over here. It hits the marble. That goes like that. Mm. Let's do it again. Do it again. Can I have a go? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and follow it the whole way. Wrong way. Oh no. <laughs> the way I see it is if you're a mouse and you're watching this all happen, surely you would have moved by the way you time you've seen a giant guy like doing the little butt kicker. Go, I know you want to. This is so cool. Yeah, I think it's really cool for a board game. It's very cool. But you know, like there was always like those kids that were missing one part. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you go over yeah. there and be like, well, we've got mouse trap, but we don't have the bucket. And you'd be like, oh yeah, well, what the f is it then? It's just mouse, isn't it? Isn't it but you know what's funny? It's like, I feel like every time I was a kid and I went to play mouse trap, a kid was always missing a piece, eh? Yeah. And you know, this is, and they don't give you any spares. And if you're missing one piece, the whole thing doesn't work. Okay, well, very Okay, so that's mouse trap. Fantastic game from the 90s. Did you have one of these as a kid? I had something similar, but not an Armstrong one. This was like- I had the off-brand version. If you were rich, you had a Stretch Armstrong. If you were poor, you had like the Gorilla. I didn't have a Stretch Armstrong. I had the off-brand one as well. Yeah. So I'm very excited to test out. Now these are like unbreakable, right? Apparently, but we're probably gonna break it today. I would. I want to see you try. So his head, it's a very simple concept, the Stretch Armstrong. You got an Armstrong. Uh, his first name's Stretch. Let me, let me, let me. And you can just literally pull him any way you like. Let me, and he will not break. You ready? Yep. How do they make him so stretchy? How does it? How about you grab the head, and I'll grab his. Is it, are they supposed to break? I don't think they can straight. And then look, ready? And then once you're done with him. <laughs> Whoa. Back to exactly where he was before. Very cool, very cool. Uh, hours of fun when you're a four year old kid. We're now gonna go do the pool test outside, ready? We're outside, me and Josh are about to attempt the biggest stretch that Stretch Armstrong has ever faced. All right, here we go, three, two, one. Do you think you'll break? I don't, I can't, I don't think we can stretch him anymore. Oh my God. <laughs> We can't break him. We can't break him. We should attach him with two cars and drive in opposite directions. Oh, I reckon that would break the car. You're right. We're gonna break Stretch Armstrong by cutting off his hand and cable tying it to a, a garden hose and just filling it with water. Basically what you do is you cut off his hand. What's he full of? I don't know. He's oh, he's like... full of gel, look. Oh, what the hell? It's what like, is it's that like shit? silicon. Yeah, what the f***? I thought it was full of like sand. So you put this skin over the hose and cable tie it onto the hose so it doesn't slide off. Okay. And then you just turn it on and watch it like expand and explode. We put it over. That's how you put a condom on, kids. 
It is. And then you just cable tie it real tight so it can't come off. No, I don't think it'll come off. I don't know. Do you have a pair of pliers? Here, put it on the one at the front. Yeah, let me get some pliers. This one's really grip it, like, tight, super hard. Yeah, pull that super tight, man. Oh, that was tight, eh? I think it's going anyway. Wait, is it going to the rest of his body? Yeah, it does. Well, the ones on the internet I see it did. Oh, shit, dude. But if it doesn't? It, it will, trust me. Come on, stretch. Get in there, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> stretch, you've got arm cancer. It's growing at an alarming rate. <laughs> It's all the glue shit that's just like pushing to one side. He's so. I think the old ones didn't have glue in there. You don't reckon? I thought it was like sand or something, eh? Yeah. Holy shit! He looks crazy. Oh, his bite, his his body is pumping up. So what happens? Most of steroids are bad for you. I reckon there's a lot of stretching to do. You reckon? Yeah. Well, his body's filling up now, so. <laughs> oh, that's beginning to feel. <laughs> look, at his, look at his little legs. <laughs> hey, mate, come on, fill up. Nicola, Nick, Nick, Nicocado Avocado, sped up, real time. How big do you reckon it's gonna get? I don't know. His arm has now just become part of the mass. Look at his little legs! Oh, he looks like a baby from this angle. <laughs> Stress is really returning his Look water. at his arm, man! Oh, dude, he's so big. You fat. That tap is on almost, I'm gonna turn it on full. Oh, she's flowing now. But his underpants are really under a little pressure right now. Yeah. Come on, just let it go in your arm. Are you going to try and poke it in? <laughs> poke all the plastic shit out that's in there and then yeah. pull it back out. There it comes. Is it going to pop back out? It's a f little stretch arm. It's going to hold. Let's let him grow at his own rate. <laughs> Look at it, it looks like a nipple. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Deadpool re regrowing one of his hands. <laughs> Look at his head, dude. He's been doing shoulders. He's skipping leg day though. Yeah, he is skipping leg day, little bitch. Now we just wait. He's a lot bigger than I thought he'd get. God, if it popped out, it'd be so funny. <laughs> He's huge. He's huge. He is huge. He's got like this tiny little nub of a foot <laughs> just grounding you. <laughs> I am a little concerned. Oh, he's popped. Oh, he's popped. Yeah, oh, he's leaked. Yeah. His head's falling off. You're right. That's the maximum of stretch arms on. Yeah. You reckon you can pull the head off now? Yeah? Maybe. Give it a yank. Holy how much water was it in? Oh, his head's full of like that gel shit though. What the fuck? Finally. Now, were these? did these come before Toy Story or after Toy Story? I don't know, but Mr. Potato Head is a notoriously good toy from the 90s. I just, I thought it was like Toy Story merch. And then I was like, hang on, what is- No, dude, I thought it was Toy Story merch too, but apparently Mr. Potato Head's like his own entity. Man, it must have been so good to be a toy maker back in the 90s. Easy money, like, eh? Let's just make a potato with some eyes on it. And people were like, that's literally going to be remembered for fair off and for a decade. Yeah. Is this how it's supposed to go? Why does it look so retarded? That's not what Mr. Potato Head looks like. What is wrong with him? The glasses don't even fit. Okay, well, you get the idea. Yours looks really cool. Look how cool he is. Yeah, and the earring actually works. Gangsta. Alright, well, God, I can see your rage building the more you play with that. You've broken it. You've broken it. It's the not broken. You took the thing off that you're not supposed to it's take not, off. It's not broken. Hold broken. on, let me. Wait, wait, wait. Shh, for a second. Shut the f. For a s <laughs> let me cook, bro. Where are glasses? getting mad, go? dude. About Mrs. Mrs. Potato Head's driving you to rage. No. It's... Oh, hello. What's your name? Oh. Don't you dare put your tongue in there. Don't. You know what? I'm putting my tongue in my butt and going home. Her glasses keep falling. Why are you throwing all the 90s toys away? Why are you got tears in your eyes? Because I'm upset. <laughs> it's cool. The, the toy is a... What? It's cool. Look at it. Do you like that? No. All right. Oh, yes! I remember these. I was waiting to open these. Oh. I had one of these as a kid. The first time I seen one of these, some guy had it in a box out the front of a store. Oh, bro, these are I got you a weasel ball. Weasel ball? I bought you a weasel ball just for because. Bro! I remember. You remember this? Yeah. Oh, dude, these were so cool. I love weasel balls.
Basically, it's a um, it's a weasel that follows a ball that rolls around by itself. God, I remember just thinking of the possibilities of having one weasel ball. I cannot possibly imagine the chaos that's going to ensue from having two isn't weasel it, balls. Isn't it sad that this is what we had as kids? Like, it's kind of sad. Look at it. It's the weasel and it can never catch the ball. No, you can never catch the ball. That's the thing. Look, this is all it did and man, it was thrilling, eh? No, it's a weasel chasing a ball. Do you think it's cool? I do think it's cool. Oh, I can feel it moving. Oh, the weasel is... Oh, oh, oh. Two weasels! Hey, guys. Whoa! Your weasel's doing flips, bro. My weasel's mental, dude. My weasel ball fell off the table. That's how my weasel died. That was very cool, wasn't it? This is for you. What is it? I haven't seen one of these. Now, before you open it, this is a genuine thing from the 90s. I think this, this, this is 1999. This is like, how old is that? 20 years? Old than that, 25 years? It's a f***ing Furby. This one's really run down. It's like unstitched, the ear plastic. It smells like Nana's cupboard. This Furby's old enough to drink and do drugs on weekends. That's some 90s earwax, bro. Yuck. I want to get, the, there's lots of creepy pasta with these. I had a friend who swore, swore that like these could learn and they got cr got more and more evil and thought, said evil stuff and he put it in the cupboard and it scared the f*** out of him. And I used to hear lots of, this was like before the internet, there was lots of actual stories that used to get passed around by these saying mm -hmm. that they were haunted and shit. Did you ever hear anything like that? Nah. I used to hear it so much, man. I actually would feel uncomfortable with that thing in my house. God, he just looks f drunk, dude. Wake up, bro. It's been 20 years. <laughs> he doesn't work. The listening lied to us, Jess. The listening did say he still works, right? I mean, like, this is bound to happen. Mm. When you're looking at 20 year old toys, you know? Mm -mm. Furby's creeping the f out anyway. Hello? He's dead. No, he's cooked. He's, f he's fried. The Furby doesn't work, but this was a Furby. Okay, that uh, 90s toy didn't give me any happiness. What's next? What have we got left? Big time. Ah. Sock boppers! These are inflatable, and you basically just assault each other with them. So they're basically kids' boxing gloves. So basically you inflate them, put your hands in them. And beat the f*** out of stuff. And just punch the shit out of each other. Until someone comes at you with a screwdriver. Yeah. Josh versus Mully in the creator clash. Alright, ready? Touch gloves. I had apologising to f***ing nobody or whatever it goes. <laughs> Mookie's in trouble! <laughs> Mookie's in trouble! Where? Oh. Come close, mate. I'll knock you yeah. We don't have the cardio to back this sort of thing up. Tired. It's a tie. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's hot outside. We're on fit. We bounced around in moon shoes and threw two punches, and now we're tired. Oh, now this. I got this for you. This is cool. Even the boxes are cool, man. Tamagotchi. Here we go, ready? A new life has just been introduced to the world. It's an, oh yeah, remember because you have the egg and it takes like a day or something in real life to hatch, right? Mm. So we can't really even play with them right now because they take- Well, this is, these were good because they taught you responsibility. Right now, they're just eggs. They haven't hatched. It takes about a day in real life to hatch. This is absolutely slap. This brings you back. This was like back in the days where there wasn't much digital stuff. Phones didn't exist. No. Don't forget the internet wasn't out when we were like in primary school for a little bit. Exactly. Um, and like having anything digital, especially a pocket-sized game, was actually massive, you know? Next one. Oh, another OG toy. Bop it. Did you ever have this as a no, kid? No, I never had that. You know what but it is? I know right? what it is though. This is literally the autism toy. I reckon this like caused more cases of autism than it cured. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. Yeah. Too fast for you. Score 28. You only got 28? Who the f came up with this? Here we go. And how competitive you get. Bop it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. 
seven, eight, three, two, four, three. Pull it, bop it, twist it, pull it, bop it, pop it, twist it. <laughs> try again, try again. Try again. Shh, okay. Complete silence. Like trying to make a woman happy. Shut up! Shut up, bro! Sorry, I'm, I'm you get so aggressively the... competitive. It's just a bop it thing. Yeah, stop like looking around. Bop it, pull it, twist it, bop it, pull it, twist it, pull it, twist it, pull it, bop it, bop it, pull it, twist it, twist it, pop it, pull it, bop it, feel it, pause it. Bop it. I'm shaking. You're actually shaking. <laughs> when you get so competitive over the like, kids' toys, you're like, I have to beat Josh. Guess you're not going to make it to uh, California to the Boppet Championships. <laughs> Do you like ever? That was fun. That was fun. Another toy from the 90s Rock'em Sock'em Robots. The original fighting robots. Yes. Mm. That's right. We're well, going to get down right now, Josh Job. Mm -hmm. You go blue. I'll go red. Let's get ready to a mop. How the f does this work? How'd you do that? You, everything just clicks on, push it hard down on it. Once you get them in the right spot. There you go. So that you win by bopping right, the, the head off. Yeah, so it clicks. So now we're ready to go. Red versus blue, here we go. You're done, boy. Oh. Final round. Ow! Final round. That was the f I just won. No, now. <laughs> ah! That was actually pretty fun. Did you like that? Yeah. This is like the shit before video games. Yeah. Yeah. Fun for the whole family. Fun for the whole family. All right, next thing. This is Action Man Mission 2000. It came out in 1999 and it's to celebrate like the new century. Is this actually a collector's piece? Yes. This is a legit like 1999 Action Man and I had Action Man as a kid. Mm. I had all the Action Man. These were literally male Barbies. Yeah, male Barbies, yeah. I used to get mine and like put them in different like, because I like James Bond movies back in the day as well. So I'd put them in little James Bond scenarios and have them escape. Should we not open it? We can just open them if you Do want. Do you think we should? I think you'll definitely damage the box. Yeah. 2009 is when they stopped making it. Hasbro. This toy is old enough to drink. 24 year old toy still in the box, still sealed. Mm. Very cool. Well, I can open it up if you want. I really want to. Open it up then. Because I'm never going to resell it. Here we go. We're losing half the value right now. This is like opening a sarcophagus and the mummy. Dude, I can't believe it's like we found one that's like steel sealed. Do you want to open this? Because I'm going to f*** it. Like I already ripped the box. I told you it was going to happen. I cut the box. I don't know how to open it without damaging it. You can't. That's why it's a one open. It's I've already f***ed it. It's an action man. It's very cool though. We've got the pro toy box opener on it right now. Whoa, dude. Look how cool that is. It's very cool. Wow, well, yeah, so this is what they used oh, to actually dude, wear look. to space. Like old... They used to have like story stuff in it, right? They used to have like a, a game and shit, eh? Like a video game, TV show. God damn it, there's like a collector out there right now that is so oh. mad at us. He's sweating, dude. Do you think people actually collect this? Of course. Why do you think someone put up for $400? For a retard YouTuber to buy it for a toy review. True. Oh, he's free. Oh, this is... He's free after years. He's dirty. Oh, yeah, I remember that they used to have, like, their own boots and shit. Well, this is... Yeah, this is taking me back. Well, he's got actual hair? Yeah, dude. Wait, let me show up the thing. So he's got... This isn't plastic hair, like that dumb other bullshit. This is actual fuzzy hair. You can give him a haircut, probably. Look at this. Look at these. What is he doing? Houston, we have uh, spotted a large, meaty mass, approximately north, several meters. Wait, is that me? You talking about me? He's noticed me. Oh God, it's not worth it. I'm taking my helmet off. Oh, it's sucking my eyes out. He just floats into nothingness, dude. 
This one is really close to my heart. I remember this, I have this vivid memory of my mum coming home and she had two new toys and she put them behind her back and she said, left or right, which one do you want? Cause your brother's getting the other one. And I remember I picked the right hand and I got this action man that was a scuba diver action man. Mm. This one's going in, in the book. Well, what was on the other hand? Oh, another action man, but for my brother. <laughs> she had two action mans. Hell yeah. That's a good mum move. That is sick, eh? It's action man. Do you think that's cool or what? I think it's cool. It's so cool, man. Mm. Look how sick that is. Astronaut action man. Very cool. I've never opened a, a vintage toy like that before. Okay, this one is very sick. You saved the best for last. I saved the best for last. It is a, can you guess what it is? It's a PSA 10 Charizard. It's not really, it is an original. Oh, dude. Original in box, Game Boy Color. We couldn't just buy a Game Boy. No, 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 we had to have a game to go with it. And what could be better than an original, full complete Pokemon Gold? Holy moly. That was my first Game Boy game. I'm keen to see this thing though. I never had a Game Boy Color. Really? My first Game Boy was a Game Boy Advance SP. I begged for you a very long time ones? to get one of these, yeah. This is the ki Kiwi Color. Yes, it is. We were gonna get the purple see-through one. Look at that. Pretty good, Nick. Look how cool it is. It does have all the manuals and everything in there. Does it? Yeah. Now this is nostalgic, eh? Mm. 1998. Oh, she got the purple one. This is Jess's one, look. Oh, the atomic purple. See-through, yeah. Damn, let's have a Game Boy off. Let's see if it works, though. Magic. Oh, bro. This is fing sick, bro. 1200 bucks, though. Could have bought a PS5. <laughs> You know you can download that, that for free now. Well, I could have just put an emulator on my PC. Yeah, yeah. you're right. But I thought it would be cool to like actually have the original. Oh, holy shit. Oh, the screen's so cool. Oh, this is sick, eh? Very cool. What do you think? I think you're finding uh, interesting new ways to buy things and claim them on business. I didn't actually even think about that. I just bought it because it was old and sick. Old and sick. I'll tell you something is old and sick. Uh, my granddad. So how about you help him out instead of spending money on this Game Boy? All right, well, let's go back in the box. Well, there you go. There you have it. You 90s toys. Now, did we answer the question, are they as good as we remember? I think this is 100%. Yeah, the Game Boy is better. Game Boy will never change. The Game Boy's better than I remember. I agree. This was cool. Mousetrap, uh, it's kind of mid. We will see how this goes. We need to wait for him, like, be born and shit. Potato Head, pretty gay. Potato, yeah, but I don't remember Potato Head, so how can I remember it if how good it was when I don't remember it at all. Moon shoes, very moony, very shoey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you satisfied? I was satisfied. That was probably one of the best reviews we've ever done. Did, really? In terms of fun. Ah, uh, not quality. Um, <laughs> oh, I hope yeah. you enjoyed the video. I did. Good. Thank you. No, goodbye. Oh. <laughs>